AI Alchemy Hour starts now. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you been? I'm good. I'm good. I might need to drink though, man, because it's been like nonstop for like four hours. <laughs> sorry, sorry to hear it. Yeah, uh, if you need a, a little break, I just need a drink. That's more... Literally, I just got a refill. Yeah, go for it. Cool. I'll be right. What is up, everyone? Welcome, welcome. Nelson, what's going on? Big Jason, thanks for being here, man. Always good to have you. Um, cool. So Nuno um, has just shown up. If you guys don't know Nuno, he's our uh, automations guy within CA Pro. Um, within Genesis, tons of experience doing automations, I think. Um, I don't want to say decades, but I feel like that's right. <laughs> um, with a lot of like, you know, big companies, Citibank, Bank of America, um, does a lot of stuff. And actually, one reason I wanted to do these calls was simply because I feel like, no, no, you got a lot of stuff to share and a lot of dope things that we've been teaching that it's only for a very small number of people in our program. So I want to kind of expand it. Um, <laughs> and then also like kind of use this, use this space to, um, I don't know, to experiment and to explore. So what I want these trainings to become, and um, I have a feeling we'll, we'll end up having a lot more people joining as we go forward is use these to do like very, very experimental things. So, um, yes, things that will save time and are efficient and like replicating marketing the way it's been done in the past, but also do a lot of other cool things like uh, work on making AI short films, right? So AI trailers or, or short films, scripts, uh, making music, working on um, software, creating bots, um, really the whole gamut of of what we can create. And then also doing stuff that's very actionable today. So what we'll be working on today is like, all right, let's, let's build a, a book of call funnel, right? Let's write all the copy. Let's build it. Um, let's work on using like AI avatars and going through that whole process um, and sort of construct all the different the different steps and just share it with with everyone. Right. So I don't know what we'll do with the recordings. Maybe I'll share them or I, I actually really don't know for everyone here. Like I'll make sure you get access to all the docs and everything that we create. But just so you know, it's it's these are going to be very like impromptu and very um like live we want to do it with you together so the more interactive we can make it um the more fun we'll have i'm sure some experiments that we do will fail and some will be really good um but i don't know i'm just excited so we're gonna jump in and uh and go from here so the main the other thing that i, I really want to do is hear from people in the community so that starts with with y'all which is like what things in AI do you want to do? What things can we build for you? Um, I think, Nuno, you helped someone in Genesis build a, a book <clears throat> call funnel for, I think, uh, was it like a pool installation? Yeah, it was a pool. Well, we've done a couple at this point. Um, I think we've done like three or four. So we've done one for where it was consulting. We've done one where it was for pools, like a person selling pools. Um, and then we worked on some, we, you know, we have a, there's a conversational AI bot that's actually pretty fairly easy to use, um, that you can build out right away. That'll actually try to book the call. If somebody tries to text message a number of any sort. So there's a lot of quick, uh, like quickly from there. And this is also designing from, from scratch. There was like no preamble. Like we literally wrote everything in chat GTP just to kind of come up with better headlines. And we use like kind of a template they provided, uh, because a lot of what, a lot of this impromptu stuff, what we're trying to show you is that the biggest pause that we see, and I, I coached like over the years, like thousands of people at this point, like I can tell you that the biggest hesitance that people have is just getting started. 
because the, the second they hit one roadblock when it comes to anything automation, anything tech related, they immediately stop. I'm going to get back to it. And then that getting back to it just increases in the length of time, the longer it takes. Uh, and some of these things, like once you start getting the hang of it, will take you no longer than 15, 20 minutes. I mean, today, actually, on one of the calls, we created a pop up store um, to sell t shirts. And now, because Dolly can write words on t shirts, like it was amazing. Like the things that I was coming up with were like hysterical. Like we were having a blast doing it. And in 45 minutes, we were literally creating a, a t shirt store. Uh, and with things like Shopify and all that, you literally can get some of the ideas and generate them a lot quicker to get them out to audience testing to see whether or not your product's even going to sell. Um, and that and that, that's, I think, what's more valuable than anything else is that this does not take that long. Um, I do make it a little bit easy because I know how to navigate through the software. But that means if if I can do it in 15, it'll probably take it like another person to maybe an hour, two hours to get it up and running. So I want to make sure that we're we're showing you guys that so you have options. So anybody that's a creative mindset, like have an idea, try it out. Like you have a lot less barriers than we did before because everything was like hard coded and like it was like 17 different softwares to get something going. Now you can take like one software run with it and it could be up in like a matter of minutes. So that's what we'll attempt to do. And then the last quick thing is, like I said, interactive. So um, like, let's actually create some fun stuff, not just what we're going to do live, but like, I want you to walk away and be like, oh shit, like I made this, I made that, I made a chat bot, I made, I made a funnel. Um, so, you know, have tools ready, available, and the more, inter you know, the more you do alongside us, I think the more you'll get value out of it. Um, and the other thing too, is there's a million different ways to, to skin a cat. I have my own prompts, my own systems. Nuno has his processes. There's a million different ways to do it. And a lot of people in this community are actually like really good. Like the stuff that's, that's posted in the group is really high level stuff so there's things that you'll probably know that i don't know and that nuno doesn't know um i don't know nuno knows quite a lot um the bigger his mustache gets the, the more he seems to know <laughs> the more um, great <laughs> <laughs> um so so if you see something that we're doing you're like oh that's like a dumb way to do it let's let's try it this way like that's what i want us to do so we can actually kind of pull the knowledge together create systems and workflows that that benefit everyone Who's in this yeah, everybody come in this like treating like nobody's an expert here and everybody like just add into it. The more we add into it, the more fun we can have with this and we can like actually build some pretty cool. I mean, like funny enough, like literally the store we created in the other group, we literally put it up. We're going to see if it sells. So I, I mean, that's like, I love it. I don't know how we're going to split the money up yet, but it might work. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll see how it rolls. Um, so, all right. So, so can I ask a question? Like anybody here who wants a book funnel? How about we start there? Who here? Raise your hand. Who wants to legitimately create something that they can try booking calls up and get sales? And if nobody raises their hand, I'll be terrified. All right, Nelson, fantastic. Nelson, what do you do and what do you sell? Oh, I think you're muted. There we go. Uh, uh, sorry, the thing is I'm in the library. Library, I, I can't speak. So <laughs> I'm going to write it. And so yeah, that's so fine. If you write it even better, we'll just copy that and put it in chat GTP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll read out loud for the rest of the group that might be on there. Uh, okay. And then and this goes for everybody. Like, I mean, again, throw in because this is what we're going to do. Um, so once we have what it is, we can all decide on what sells. Now I can tell you there are multiple variations of a call funnel. I'm going to give you my variations. And then look, Luke, if you want to kind of chime in what you've seen, so what we are currently using now is, um, and what, I'm going to show you a really cool feature, um, a basic video VSL, like a Facebook lead form or a Facebook ad that goes directly to a VSL. And now uh, the system we're going to be using is high level just because it's all in one software. So instead of us going through 17 different softwares to make this work, it's just way easier for me to build on there because it has a lot of different functionalities. You now can put a video on the page and actually make the form pop up in the video halfway through the video, uh, which becomes a new whole playing field to qualify leads or whatever else. And then during that video, people are interested, they give you their information early on. And then in the video, eventually a pop-up little button is going to come on, book your call now, book a consultation, your free 15 minute complimentary review, whatever it is. And then that leads directly to a calendar that they then book their call. And then a thank you page that primes them for the meeting, right? Now, what we call a prime for the meeting is 
the problem with a lot of leads that are coming from online is people are not sold. A lot of marketing is interruption-based marketing. Like Facebook is interruption-based marketing. I am doing something on Facebook, trolling, looking at what my ex-wife is doing, like all kinds of weird crap, like, right? So all of a sudden I go from there. <laughs> like you are interrupting my personal time trolling in the middle of the night with your ad. So immediately I'm either engaged in the ad or I'm not. But if I am, I click the button. I am now in your world. Now, how long do you keep me in your world? That's part one. And then how do you convince me to take the next action? That's part two. And then part three is great. I took the action. I booked the appointment. The part three that's most important is it only has a 30% like show up rate is how do you get, like, how do you get people to show up? And that becomes like where your reminder sequences have testimonials and power reviews and like all kinds of different things that make the person show up. And even a video with you saying, hey, I really want you to show up uh, and here's what's going to happen. If you do show up, you're going to get this, this, and this, and so forth and so on. You make some claims that are viable uh, and then people go on. So just want to make sure you, you guys kind of understand like the way we've been doing it. Uh, then we also have different formats, but that's like kind of the core format that we've been working and it's been working pretty well. So Luke, I don't know if you want to add to that or just a different thing before we start building. Yeah. So are you seeing, um, you're saying add directly to VSL? No opt-in? No, no opt-in. Because the cool thing about it is the VSL has an opt-in in the middle or keep, in the first watching. one minute. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how it works. It's actually awesome. pretty cool. It's a really cool new feature and it's working wonders for our conversion rates right now. Uh, it also gets rid of a lot of the tire kickers and the people that are really not interested, which leads for better conversion rates on the back end. So one thing that I, I want to do is, um, I love that. So I'll, I'll turn it over and I'm going to share something that was actually, this is something that somebody requested is the only person who asked for something specific and Nelson, you have, you have something similar. So I think doing a book, a call will be, will be awesome. This is sort of what he had shared. Um, so putting together a system that produces a call booking campaign to split test would be my personal goal. Um, so that basically five to 10 Facebook ads, um, he's going with the opt-in page, but we're going to skip that and please just make sure you're muted. Um, if you're in here. Okay. So we're gonna we'll do um, create Facebook ads. Um, maybe we won't we won't do the whole opt-in thing. Let's follow what you're doing with high level with the opt-in um, in the VSL. What I'd like to do is if we can get on this call as much as possible to to write the VSL plus make um, make the landing page and then going on the next couple of calls the next couple of weeks, figure out like what we can do to create visuals images um uh some of the video editing as much as we can automate that i want to play around with uh hey jen and because we actually have cloned stefan today i think <laughs> awesome. he's been officially cloned um so what i want to do is actually build this because we, we want to build a we're going to build a little book of call funnel and actually run it so it'll be pretty cool you guys get to see it worked on in, in real time so we'll use we'll use stefan for that um in the future with the visuals and whatever and then on maybe the third week or so, we can work on automations, the emails, um, whatever sort of flows to make sure people actually hop in on the call, all that. Um, but we'll we'll riff. This, by the way, is this is what um, I forgot his name, but he had posted. So some cool stuff. No, no, I'll actually turn it over to you if you want to start with the structure of it. But I yeah. So some, let, uh, let let's um let let's go ahead and do that. I think you gotta let, let me screen share. Yeah, let me let me go. I can only make you host for some reason, not co-host. No, well, I promise I won't kick you. <laughs> so. Yeah, please. I'd be scared. All right. Cool. So let's rock and roll, right? So I'm going to, again, this is high level for anybody that's not familiar with it. You can use pretty much a lot of software out there. Uh, I don't recommend ClickFunnels anymore. We're not friends anymore. Um, that software has kind of burned me quite a bit right at this point in time. So um, it's, uh, but a lot of the softwares now, Kajabi, Contra all have this ability to do so. But again, what I like about what's currently going on right now is the fact that, um, we have this weird, crazy opt-in thing that we can do. So, uh, two things to always eliminate, um, like just the time, a lot of these new funnel uh, builders of any sort have templates. Uh, I'm a big believer. Don't recreate what's already kind of out there for you. So they have templates in here and anybody that's been watching any of the design, uh, kind of structure that we built. Like I usually like try to find something that I'm like, ah, can I work with this? 
um you know like they have like contests and giveaway or whatever else and i try to find anything it's so funny they have a they have a type but nothing in it that's that's pretty brilliant um but like an event um yeah and, and Nuno, you know, like, real quick yeah. um if anyone signs up to high level they'll get access to all of these these templates yeah these come free with the system there is no additional charge for them um and actually i think in the group somewhere, I think I included um, a snapshot they can normally use that has like a whole bunch of freebie stuff that they can use that can get them up and going. Um, so uh, like, again, I'm looking for a particular format. I want something that has maybe a background in between. Um, and I want to have something maybe like testimonials in the bottom. So in my head, that's kind of what I'm searching for. And I'm searching for something that has a like a above the fold kind of feel and look to it. Like that, that looks pretty good. Um, you see how it's like kind of broken down and it has like a few things like, see this thing I probably lose, expert team I probably lose, testimonials I keep, and then all the logo stuff at the bottom. So when designing to cut your time in half to get you up and running as fast as humanly possible, always try to see if the for, uh, the templates provided and a lot of softwares have templates that you can immediately go, oh, I can I can take this and modify it a bit and get completely going without like, you know, completely having to redesign an entire site and maybe switching a background picture and everything else. Actually, the sauce, the salsa dance up uh, uh, Academy upsell looking pretty sexy right here. So that is something that I probably use just lose the dancers in the background and move backwards from there. But I kind of almost want to see business advisor upsells. These are all new. Um, so your program is about, if I read this right, it's a little vague, but we're going to get in there. Oh, I want to create a page that promotes a campaign of six webinars that explains a simple system to profit from courses powered by AI. So, so actually, we've got to be careful. Actually, no, no. Let's, um, oh. Nelson, I, I want to do uh, something live for you, but I, I prepared some other stuff too okay. um, for an offer that we'll work on. It's very similar, Nelson, to what you're going to do. So I actually find that you'll take, you can take almost everything that we're going to show because um, I, I want to blend it with some of the copy stuff that we have, and I think it'll it'll work for you that we have prepared. Um, so what's it about? So I can kind of like see what kind of template we can leverage. Good. So maybe actually, let me switch back and and show. I'm going to share all of these with everyone here. Um, but I think this will be really cool actually for landing some of your getting the messaging like really, really spot on and to get like really high level high quality um copy okay and i i promise it's not a pitch for free ad copy which launched yesterday conveniently but i'm just late too lazy to like <laughs> plug in the prompts it's, it's actually just i love to use it um so i'm going to show you real quick i'm going to recap real quick and give you these prompts that i use that i'm still like tweaking them a little bit but really really good for creating uh an avatar that you can load and basically prime all of the copy that you use whether that's in claude or po.com um, and then also uh, how to come up with like really great titles, really good headlines um, and a model for a VSL script. We're skipping the opt-in because uh, Nuno has something way smarter. So we're going to skip that script, but you can still use it. And once you understand how the prompt works, you can replicate it over and over. So Nuno, is it cool if I just like. Yeah, yeah. Let's let, let's do that fast. because that will build what we got to do as and far as can headlines do and everything else inside of Perfect. that. So the first one is. Um, so this is the inside of a free ad copy that I was playing around with, which anyone can, you can hop on and you'll get 10 credits and we'll up it and figure out how to use it. A lot of people here also probably have the build a better buyer prompt, which you can just plug into chat GPT um, or po.com. If anyone's here, this is the one that I love to use the most. Other people use ones like Magi. The reason I like to use Po is because it gives you access for $20 a month to GPT-4, Claude 2, GPT-4 with a 32K context window, which means big ass context window. You can also upload files, et cetera. It's 20 bucks a month for it. It's it's pretty cool. And because you're plugged into the API, I find that the answers it gives you are a little less woke than when you're using the chat interface. You know, I don't know if that if that's your experience too, like using an API versus um, like the chat interface. Um, so for the... The first one here that I think is really good to, to start off with, right? Let's say that you're having a, um, you're doing any kind of book a call, right? Or an opt-in or free training or VSL, whatever. The two things that I think it really makes sense to start with always is 
Who's your audience? Who are you targeting? And then also what's your offer? And if you can get that information crystallized in one place, anytime you write a piece of copy, an email, a, a, some kind of sequence, whatever, um, your prompts can pull from all that information and get really good detailed like stuff. And I'm experimenting with creating like a, like a, some kind of matrix in a CSV file that will have a lot of different marketing information that is a little more textured than what we have here, but this will be a really solid start. So, um, if you go in here, what I did was I used this, uh, build a better buyer one. Um, I had the ad form saved out and then I fucked it up and I was way too lazy to, to go back and fix it. So, um, Yes. So all you do is you just put in something like your target market. So for here, I actually put in the output of the original build a buyer. So it's a little confusing because uh, again, I was too lazy to go back and rewrite it. But I basically put something like this is coaches and consultants who want to use AI, but are feeling frustrated, right? So they're buying all these courses, they're using chat GPT prompts, and they're like, this is like taking longer than it should. Um, unique solution, talked about the credibility, all of these things on here. And then you generate it. Um, and you'll get, let's see. I don't know why it's giving me headlines. Here, I'll, I'll show this actually. Everyone can see my whole screen now, right? Let me show you this. So this is that output from the original build a buyer and you can down, I just downloaded it right in here. So now I have this saved as a, a text file and I can use this to prime anything. So if I'm using Claude, if I'm using uh, ChatGPT or I'm using Poe, whatever, you can just use the attachment and put in that build a buyer prompt and it will pull the information from that. Okay. Which again, this is not, this is not perfect. This is based on the, the model itself. So Nuno, I really want to do some really complex, like fun, like, scraping like Amazon reviews and things like that using perplexity. Um, I would like to go deep into that, but this is a good start, right? A lot of this information is pretty accurate um, off first go. So that's the first thing that I start with. And again, all you need to do is enter in, if you use this tool or if you just use the prompt, enter in the information here, you can save it. And now you have this, like you have this build a, a buyer, like prime for everything else that you do. The next thing that I, I had, and I'm gonna go, I promise I'm gonna get through this quickly because I wanna do the fun stuff, which is building it, is creating uh, your offer, okay? So in the same way that I want the, <laughs> in the same way that I want the build a buyer um, saved as like a text file, I basically also want what I call an offer prime. So this means like whatever the VSL is about, I want all that information contained in one spot so that if I, again, if I write the VSL, if I write a headline, I can just pull directly from that information. So this is an example of what I would use for like an opt-in VSL. And it contains my hook, my spokesperson, um, the offer, the description of the offer, credibility, social proof, CTA, urgency, and scarcity, okay? And this right here, you could just save as like a, a PDF or something like that. Now I'm gonna show you how I actually got this because the hardest part about coming up with really good, high quality copy, especially if you're running multiple split tests on your book of call, is you want to focus on the highest leverage points of copy, which are always going to be um, the offer itself. And then it's going to be the hook that you use, which is the first opening lines or the opening of your VSL. And it's going to be the headline. Those pieces there are the highest leverage pieces of copy. You want those to be really, really good. The rest can be eh, can be decent right? It just needs to hit some different points, but that's where you really want to do your magic. So that's where uh, I think. Yeah. Let, let, let me add there a little Please. bit. Um, Just something learning from YouTube and a lot of the things that were happening on YouTube and everything else. When somebody clicks in first to a screen, just remember there is a one second to two second interval that your most videos will always start without sound. Um, So the image that's used for a thumbnail Mr. Beast literally reported he did this multi-million dollar thing where he says that people will react when people are smiling. Uh, and he literally did a split test for millions of dollars. I think it cost him 1.2 million 
to realize that people will only click will click more often on the YouTube thumbnails that have him smiling versus the ones that not to the point that even now when you buy his candies, it's all teeth. Like mm. you see his teeth literally everywhere, but he paid $1.2 million and apparently it upped his conversion rate by like 3%. And this is like Mr. Beast. This guy's got like, he's the biggest YouTuber there is out there in the planet. And he paid for this kind of advice and information, but what it taught us on the VSL format and something that people are now considering is that one second will immediately create the interaction. And you have that one second when somebody clicks from whatever page they're on before the video starts to have like a frozen thumbnail of what you're doing. So sometimes throwing the line in there or just like with you in it immediately gives credibility to whatever you're trying to offer. And then it's kind of connects it to. So mm -hmm. don't take that little one second away from it, because again, it's a, usually a three second drop off rate within the first part of the video. People will click in and immediately click out if it doesn't connect with them immediately. So that's why the headline, like you mentioned, Luke, is important. But believe it or not, the freaking thumbnail at this point is huge. It's it's also huge. important, which we never thought about because it's a VSL. It's just going to start playing. But if you look at the drop off rate, literally the second starts drop off rate is like 20 percent within the first second. It's like it's like stupid math. And if people that go through the whole whole life history and don't really go at what they're there for immediately, like they lose it right away. I mean, so it's just something to consider as you're thinking about this. And when we write the VSL, we want the core thing that you're going to solve the, whether it's you bringing out the pain first to bringing him back in or where you're there, what you're going to solve right away, throw in the thumbnail too, when we create that, because if that's going to be a pretty huge, um, pretty, just a pretty important part of when we do it. Yeah. And, and to your point, we actually just hired this week, a, uh, a video editor who, is like actually at a Mr. Beast shoot right now. He's like, hey, I got to fly to to North Carolina. Awesome. He says when he goes, he says every time he goes there, it's like a master. He's been doing video editing. He's young, but he's been doing it since he was like for like 10 years, right? He says every time he goes to these shoots, he learns so much because there's a dedicated department to everything. And he says he'll go talk to somebody whose entire job, $70,000 a year, is to come up with the title for the video. Like, all he does is the title. And if you go and talk to him, he's like, yeah, I capitalize this letter because of this, because of that, because of that. Obviously, like they're pushing the boundaries and like squeezing out every bit of margin like possible. No, they but, really are. I mean, they but spend to your point, millions. that's huge. They, yeah. they spend so much. And I also, um, if you guys know, I would recommend following this guy or looking at this guy on Twitter. Um, he talks about YouTube automation and YouTube strategy, but I don't know who he is. But when he talks about like um, attention economics from an organic content view, this is a lot of stuff that even like really savvy marketers and content marketers, they're not thinking about it on this level. He literally talks about attention economics using economic theories, right? So, but way deeper than supply and demand. It's like, just go and look at this. It, it will really be helpful, especially I think in the, in the, um, the age of AI. Um, when content is going to proliferate while attention remains the same. So um, it's a really interesting dynamic. And so understanding attention dynamics um, will be really powerful for this. Okay. Jojo, yeah, this but, is um, the course. This is the course, Jojo. Trust me, <laughs> l l pay attention, pay attention to this. Cause this is, this is what, this is everything right here. Okay. Understanding this. Um. Awesome. Sorry, news. Do you have anything? No, no, no. The, the only thing I was going to say, like perfect example, like we've, we, again, through analytics figured out for some odd reason, I am apparently the ugly person in my partnership. Cause whenever my partner puts a picture of him in there, he gets higher clicks than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I have to like think of a different look because it's, he has higher click through rates and it's kind of really frustrating. So either people <laughs> find me completely ugly and unentertaining or uh, he's just more of a lovable personality. So again, it's, it's pretty funny. So he's like, well, maybe I'll just take over all the thumbnails, even if it's you. And I'm like, well, that's just not going to happen. But, um, but the point is, it's like, yeah, this stuff, uh, it does matter. I mean, it's things we never looked at before, but the deeper we get into it and the more we're trying to excel at it, it's just something that we can't get around that. Uh, we just can't get out of it. In other words. So just, yeah, this stuff matters. This shit, really, It's very, it's frustrating too, because you don't know what triggers it until you really start digging deep. But if you got a guy like Mr. Beast, like spending millions of dollars just to find out he has to smile and then 
even his bars, like his chocolate bars the other day, I literally picked one up and I started laughing because it's literally him smiling. And if you guys think I'm lying, everything going forward, when you watch with Mr. Beast, watch his mouth. It's all teeth. It's hysterical. Like mm-hmm. now that I've told you this, you can't unsee it. So <laughs> you'll laugh at it every time you see it. I love it. Okay. So, um, so in, in order to come up with an offer prime like this, like I said, your hook is always going to be one of your highest leverage uh, pieces. Your offer itself, okay, which a lot of times can just be your headline, is going to be really, really important. Um, and then, of course, your headline. So when we're talking about the offer prime, these two are the highest leverage piece of copy to really focus on. Okay, so we don't need to go crazy, right? You don't need to make everything perfect. I believe in speed works really, really well. Um, but if you're going to spend any amount of time focus on these two parts of the copy, the hook and the offer. So what I did was I made this little um, offer creation prompt, which I'll give you. And it works actually quite well, although I wrote it in about a few minutes. So there's a lot of refinement that can be happened. So take it and refine it for your own purpose. But I like the way that it, I, I like the concept behind it. Um, so let me go through the structure of the prompt real quick, which is just, Classic identity statement. You're a world-class marketer who specializes in creating irresistible, ultra-compelling offers. Great. Identity statement. Then you're going to move into um, the purpose, which is we're going to create um, create an offer itself using the build-a-buyer persona um, that we have provided. Right. So I already went through how to create the build-a-buyer per, uh, persona. Everyone is clear with that, right? So... Real quick, I think this is a great little framework for thinking about these offer. Start with the tangible result, right? This is the quantifiable end result, especially true in like a biz op market, which is what kind of where we're going, right? Uh, A B2B or like a biz op type market. There's really good quantifiable end end results. Other markets, not so much, but we can use them here. Then you think about the niche, very important. You think about the unique mechanism, right? This is the process that go from point A to point B. Um, this is the naming convention. If you're trying to look at um, naming conventions, you want something that will elicit ease, something that will elicit speed, something that will elic- elicit low effort, something that will elicit the greed glands. So one of the seven deadly sins, whatever those happen to be, those are sort of the best names for your unique mechanism. If they evoke those feelings, that's awesome. This is why things like accelerator, two click, push button, all of those imply Again, speed, low effort, those type of things. And then if you put something like, you know, cash is a lot more emotionally charged than something like um, revenue, okay? Um, And so you have to modulate that according to your market, but those are what you want for your unique mechanism. Time frame to achieve results. So you put that in there and then you add in some risk reversal. So what I asked this prompt to do is basically brainstorm 10 variables for each of those and then start to kind of, play around with different variations so you can find an offer that works for you. So you could be, you know, free training reveals how to double your opt-in rates in four weeks using this easy AI copy chief framework. This is an example I pulled up. It's not the best example in the world, but these are the kind of offers that you're able to create that are really, really sticky, right? If you read the $100 million offers, whatever book you read for naming and creating your offers, this is a really great prompt that will do that for you. Um, and let me see if I can actually find uh, where I put that in. Uh, I'll look for it in a second, but um, actually we can just run it. Let's run it real quick and I'll show you. So all I'll do is I'll pop this in into Claude just the prompt and all i need to do is attach uh, this build the better buyer that we have so again these different niches doesn't really matter because i already know my niche but these are some decent unique mechanisms some decent time frames, and then it will just start kind of putting them together, right? None of these are like mind-blowing, 
right? But they're good. These are really solid starts as far as an offer, right? Coaches get booked solid for three months using our client magnet system with this free trial, okay? It's an amazing starting place to go with just a few clicks. Um, cool. So that's how you can come up with um, this offer. And I just picked, literally, this is pulled straight from AI. I would change it myself, but we're going to leave it here. Overwhelm coaches, reduce your workload to just one hour per day with our done-for-you marketing system in 60 days. 100% guarantee. Okay? It's kind of clunky. There's a lot of things to change with it. But I'm just going to, just for the sake of the exercise, this is pulled directly from, from AI. Everybody following on that so far? Is this cool and interesting? Useful? Okay. Um, the next thing is coming up with these hooks. So how do we actually get these hooks? Um, great question. So there's two things that you can do. And what I'm going to do is actually give everyone this prompt. Um, don't, don't tell anyone that I gave it to you. Um, Cause it's super secret, but this is a YouTube. Um, some of you have already seen it. It's basically a prompt for coming up with YouTube hooks, but it's really, really good for coming up with all different kinds of uh, ad hooks. Okay, and all you need to do is enter your information here. Okay, or you can modify it and literally just plug in your, again, your build a buyer, just add that file and it will generate a lot of stuff for you. Uh, this is in free ad copy, but it's just not working right now uh, because they blocked they blocked the prompt for some reason on the 32K context window. So we're going to fix that. But in the meantime, you can just use the prompt that I gave you. If you use it in Poe, I think I used it here. Um, yeah, actually, I'll just share this because this is a modified version where all you need to do is just plug in your, um, just plug in the build a buyer. You don't even have to do anything else. Just attach the file, hit enter, and you'll get all kinds of these different prompts. So personal claim story, right? What if I told you you could automate your marketing efforts with um, one click, okay? Or you could say, uh, I like this one holding up a smartphone, right? This device right here can automate all of your marketing efforts, right? Or this thing right here could replace your entire marketing team, which sounds insane, but I'm going to show you how in the next blah, 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 blah. Interesting hook, right? Um, or I like this one a lot. See this graph, if you have a great visual, see this graph, this is my client acquisition before I started automating my marketing, and this is it after, right? You want to see how I did that and added blah, 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 blah. Let me show you how. Those are all really strong examples of hooks that you can pull from right here and just figure out the best ones. Jojo, um, I use GPT-4 for this one. It worked better than Claude. I'll make that note. I, I go back and forth quite, I, I like in the groups that we've tested a few things, you guys have seen me do it. I, I sometimes will use prompts from one to answer the other and I'll go back and forth and whoever gives me the better answer kind of wins. Yeah, because the, the big lesson is like, you know, we we want everything to be push button. And so I try to make these prompts and everything, but there's going to be a little bit of back and forth and some iteration that you need. And so you have to like experiment and learn how to, how to, you know, hang out and talk with, with chat. Uh, Jojo says, got it. But then you put it in Claude to Poe afterwards. Uh, no, Jojo. So this is, uh, this is Poe and it's GPT-4 with the big context window. And all I did was put in the build a better buyer, create the hooks, boom. Then what I did is I came in here and I literally just took these right from, from the YouTube hooks. I picked three that I liked and put them on right here. Are these the greatest hooks in the world? No, but would I rather start from this hook versus a blank screen? Absolutely, because I can turn each of these hooks into magic. Um, Ro, I'll share it after when we get to the end or when I get to my little portion and we jump, Nuno's gonna do some dope stuff. Um, with these hooks, they're straight from AI. We can make them a lot better, but again, these are decent and they're, they're better than a lot of things that you'll see. So I'm gonna share this with everyone, which is a, what is it? Basically a template. So you know what information to add in here. You have to add in the spokesperson. 
a quick description of whatever your offer is, okay? Your credibility, your social proof, what you want them to do, and whether you want to add any urgency or scarcity. But the hooks, you can pull right from AI. The offer, you can pull right from AI, okay? which again are the highest leverage pieces of copy, the hardest part. And you can see an example, this is what we have here. All I did with this was go here, download, save it as a PDF. And now for everything else that I do, I have my build a buyer prime and I have my offer prime. Okay. So let's say for instance, I want to write an opt-in VSL. Well, I got two amazing scripts for you right here. And I actually found that this script worked a lot better. So let's look at this. You're a world-class direct response copywriter specialized in writing ultra compelling opt-in VSLs, inspire people to watch a free training. To do so, you're gonna follow this structure. The way that I got this structure here, you can come up with your own, but all I did was go into my swipe file, find two examples of book a call funnels that, um, that worked really well. And I asked Claude to, to analyze them. So for example, I put in a uh, this one from publishing.com, a transcript. I asked it to clean up the video script for me. And then I asked it just to analyze the, the structure. Can you please analyze the structure of this so we can create a universal template? And it did. Intro, social proof, credibility, call to action. And then I said, what are all the information, pieces of information you need from me to follow that template and produce these opt-in VSLs? And it gave me all these information, which just, you know, heads up is everything that's in the offer prime and everything that's in build a, build a buyer. So if you want to produce any kind of copy, this is the secret. If you want to do a book a call VSL, if you want to write a new lead, if you want to write a mechanism section of copy, if you want to write a close, follow this exact template, find a swipe, preferably two or three examples that you like, have, have uh, whatever you're using. I like Claude for this, analyze your structure, and then you're gonna create a prompt that follows exactly what I'm giving you right here. This structure pretty much came right from AI. Okay, I use these right here. Um, then I'm gonna give it an example. So begin script example and end script example. This is a super short little book a call type VSL, right? Like one minute maybe or two minutes, but you could put a longer piece of copy in here, no problem. You could put a, a 600 to a thousand word lead and it could write, write the lead for you, right? Um, and then all you do is you add in your, all you have to do is pop this in, add in your, the offer prime and the build a buyer that you just had, and it will write, um, hopefully it will write a good um, opt-in VSL for you. So let me show, let's go through it real quick. Here's my prompt, what you have. Go into the attachments. I put my build a better buyer and I put my offer prime in here. So what if I told you the biggest marketing time waster for coaches like us is not social media or email campaigns or SEO. It's actually all of them, right? Hi, I'm Stefan Georgie. Imagine a workload where you reduce your workload just one hour per day using a done-for-you marketing system, all within 60 days. And the best part, it's 100% guaranteed. This isn't a distant dream. It's a reality that my partners, Luke Mills and Mario Castelli, have created. We bless thousands of coaches with this magic wand, right? <laughs> it's actually a little bit, um, <laughs> a little weird. I don't want to imagine being blessed by Mario. <laughs> But think about it. No more a little Harry Potterish too. I mean, uh... yeah, a little Harry, little Harry <laughs> Potterish. Think about it. No more late nights, hunch over your laptop, desperately trying to optimize SEO or create the perfect email campaign. Instead, you'll be coaching, consulting, doing what you love best, and making a real impact. Now, I can sense a bit of skepticism. Stefan, I've tried everything. Nothing's worked. I get it. I've been there. But unlike these so called instant solutions, our system is different. I got the results to prove it. I mean, listen to what Frank Kern has to say. Boom. Or Perry Belcher. Boom. And it's not just them. For Primal Labs to financial media core, industry leaders are singing praises for our system. So you're ready to reclaim your time, your life, and your coaching passion. Are you ready to finally break free from the marketing shackles holding you back? Then join us for a free 45-minute training where I break down the exact step-by-step -step process to automate marketing. Time is ticking. I'm only offering this for free for the next 90 days. Don't let this golden opportunity slip away. Okay. There's some corny parts to this, but within about two to three minutes, I could edit this and it's fucking gangster. Not only that, but I can now take this, which I'm going to literally do on the next call because I didn't get Stefan cloned fast enough, pop it in and have Stefan 
be reading this and you will almost not be able to tell. And it will be good, solid copy spoken by Stefan. And now we're going to just upload this into um, some Anuno stuff, although we need a longer VSL script, which we'll have to do next time. And boom, you're good to go. But the so magic what, is- what was the sorry, software bro. that does the, the mock-up like that actually has the person talking? This one. Hi, Jen. Okay. Hey, Jen. Um, you can literally upload two minutes of video for about 20 or $30 a month, and it will create your clone for you. That And that's for- um, I want the one that has the, the Spanish speaking version of me. That's like my goal. I want to be in all countries, like 24 <laughs> no, you seven. Can, and then you can do that. You could just, you can literally no, you totally can. All like, stuff. I'm Portuguese, but I, I can't speak it the way that I'm supposed to. Apparently they all make fun of me. So <laughs> I want to put the Portuguese like version of me out there. So people can, like, actually give me a little credit for being Portuguese. You know, it's like, kind of like, I really suck at it. I'm like the worst Portuguese person ever. <laughs> like I do nothing. They do. <laughs> so I don't even sound like them. Um, but yeah, like that's pretty cool. That the fact that you can do that in there, I actually have to like figure this out. I have to play with this now. So I'll give you all of these, but the the magic actually is taking this prompt structure, and all you need to do is if you want to write any kind of copy, replace this structure and replace this example. That's literally all you have to do, and then you might have to tweak it, right? Maybe it's it's coming out too corny, so tell it in the guidelines. Hey, like make it. It's it's actually better to use positive statements versus negative statements. Um, when you looked at the prompt engineering guide from OpenAI, it's better to use positive statements. So don't say, some of these say don't, but that's because Mario did it. And, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't read the fine print. So regardless, you have two of these. And next time, what I'm going to do is work on creating a full book of call VSL um, using a swipe from one that I know does really, really well. Okay, which is this modern millionaire one, which I think Mario also probably wrote. So we'll actually use this, and this is much longer, so a much more much different process. But all you got to do is chunk it up, and boom, we have this. And now we're going to combine it real quick with what Nuno has. Yeah, so let, let's just build it out. And what we'll do is we're going to create the, the framework um, that we believe is going to work the best. So again, just to kind of be quick, so, so then we are cognizant of the time. Maybe we'll do the old people here. Maybe we can find a Harry Potter theme because, you know, we're into like magic wands. Um, but maybe... <laughs> I'm just like, because I still think the salsa is pretty hot. So just to kind of um, get it up and going, just, you know what, we'll use a salsa one. Why not? Let's see what we can make this work. Um, it'll be fun. But um, maybe we can make like Luke dance. You know, like I can't dance. Um, can we put the Portuguese version of Stefan on this? Yeah, we need to. <laughs> maybe he'll make a better Portuguese person than I am. He's um, actually so, got a huge so perfect. following so, in, in, uh, uh, in Brazil. Like, seriously, we have to like talk about this. This is like really suppressing. Uh, but here we go. So a couple of things. Notice that uh, it immediately came with the logo. I immediately lose the logo. Um, everything inside of any kind of website, funnel, ad or whatever, it's all about real estate and how you're actively using your real estate. You have everything inside of the funnel is always going to be about what people are going to look at first. And it's the speed of what the, the brain, how the brain is going to react. I'm immediately going to look, am I interested enough to continue? Again, the thumbnail, the headline, I need, I immediately need to be grabbed into and going in. The reason why people add to the bottom is to add credibility. So then the person, once I start going into it, immediately my brain will start questioning. Is this person real? Like, is this really what I want? Who the heck is this guy? Like, do I really should believe him? That's why you see a lot of has seen on banners and everything else in the bottom, because it adds to credibility really early on before anything else. That's why in some of these, you'll usually see like two to three testimonials. Again, it's all to credibility because the second I'm in, the second way my brainwave will start fixing is immediately like, this guy's either full of shit or I'm ready to go. And the only way to break that is to either add some kind of credibility, whatever it might be. Now, we've seen different really cool things work. Sometimes we'll add the credibility at the top has seen on and then the video square in the center. Sometimes we'll add the has seen on in the and towards the bottom. And believe it or not, making the video smaller to allow the headline and the has seen on banner to breathe gives me the credibility and the immediate hook for me to continue to watch the video. Does that make sense? Because what I want to do is I want to make it where if you're questioning who I am, here's the credibility. If the hook is for you, I want to make sure you read it and then engage in the video as you go through. So that's just something we want to do. Now, obviously, this is a pretty stunning image. This will actually work if it was only image-based, but because it's not, it kind of delivers in the same thing. So we're actually going to lose a bunch of this crap, right? I'm going to lose this background too. Um, and for now, I mean, we can even have it in the background, but let's just lose all of this. 
I like that button, so I might keep that button. And then I'm going to start moving elements over. So I'm not worried about the background just yet because I want to do it. So anytime you're building a funnel, everything works in sections, columns, rows, elements. Doesn't matter if you're using WordPress, Contra, Kajabi, and everything else. That is the order. Sections, columns, rows, elements. So what we want to do is, again, we want to make sure that things are front and center. There's obviously some weird background here, but that's okay. And that's the other thing too. The second something does not go my way, I just completely obliterate it and just start new. So here we come in here, add row, we'll add a column. And then like, see, I like little elements of this. So I'm going to keep some things. And then the first element is going to be our headline. We're going to drop that square in the center. I'm not worried about what the headline is. Right now, my goal has a designer, has a funnel builder is I need to make things work where the fold is going to work. Way too big of a video. This is not going to work. So we need to bring this down to like, nope, needs to be smaller, half width. Now you're going to be, whoa, that video is too small. Is it? Because what do people mostly view it? Anyone? Phones, exactly. Yeah, somebody held up the phone sign. I hope that was a phone sign. Oh, that's a weird like gang sign that we shouldn't be throwing up. But if we come in here, like most people are going to be building on phones. So I want something, boom, that has my headline and my credibility that I'm going to give a little space to. If I need to create a sub headline, then I can do that also. So what I'm going to do is I like, I really like this button. So I'm just going to drag it down there. We don't want the no thanks. And we're actually going to lose this image. I'm going to bring everything up. And I do want a little bit of a sub headline. Sub headlines have been known to convert. Uh, because again, if I have a doubt and I'm not sure if this is for me, the sub hub headline will help me convert. Um, and then I have the button and everything else. So now let's create a little bit of a background. Now backgrounds get challenging, right? Backgrounds should be cool enough looking, but not distracting enough. <laughs> How's that for figuring that out, right? So you want to make sure you're kind of falling in between um, really cool tools to use for backgrounds. I like mid journey for this sort of stuff. Um, as long as my discord channel is somewhere in here, there we go. Uh, me playing around with like mid journey again, you can get some pretty cool things in mid journey, by the way. Um, so mid journey, not as cool as Dolly, but for instance, if I want, um, dark background and what is this for again, Luke? Um, we're going to make this a. Uh, basically like an automation course. Dark background. Okay, so dark background. Let's see what it comes up with. Um, dark background. We might actually use Dolly for this. Dark background um, for a video overlay that has um, digital automations in the background. I have no idea what it's going to cause, but while this is going in here, we are going to copy this and we are actually going to use Dolly too. For anybody that doesn't know Dolly, it is ChatGTV's new version. And honestly, I'm in absolute love with it. It has been by far the fun, like the most fun I've had, like generating images because it requires little to no prompts. And mind you, we can go very deep into the prompts, but I just want to get something going. Um, so if I come in here and ChatGTP4, you're going to need you would use Dolly and we're going to use the same prompt. It requires very little prompting and some of the designs are pretty badass. Um, so let's see what it came up with. And all I'm looking for is again, something cool looking, but that's not going to overly distract the customer. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. That's pretty cool looking, right? Anybody have a favorite one in here? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, top yeah, right. I mean, all of these are pretty dope. I like the chip because that makes a little bit more sense for me. That's just my really nerdy brain working. Anybody have any preferences here? I can't see the chat. Top right. Yeah, I think top right too. So we're going to go with, and again, just so you know, the way it works is one, two, three, four. So we're going to upscale number two. All right. And while that's upscaling, let's see what, yeah, this is really good actually. So we're going to save the image. That's not going to work for a background. So we're going to try to move quick. So we're going to say background. All right. Come in here. Let's see what chat TTP came up with. It broke. <laughs> it's been breaking all day. I've been, I literally been breaking this thing maybe because I'm like abusing it. I don't know. So let's see. We'll try it again. <laughs> literally. I was like, it was like, it was really bad, but just so you guys, 
really funny. I got to share this because it was like one of the best shirts I've ever created. Look at that. It was called Mad Designs. We were trying to design shirts quickly. And it says, got my milk versus That's got hilarious. milk. I <laughs> eat my pants. I cannot recover from this. And it's got like, literally, it's assaulting the milk truck. I, I, I didn't know what to do with this. I literally put that on a shirt. Would you not buy that? I would buy that. <laughs> I would totally <laughs> buy that shirt. But anyway, so uh, I love it for the kids. I don't know if it's appropriate for kids. I mean, but <laughs> it might be a little weird. But anyway, regardless of which, um, we'll see if it pops out anything, which it might not. We might still break it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that image because I don't believe that image is going to work. So we're going to have to fix it. So oh, here we go. All right. So we're going to pull up Canva. And who is this guy? What the? All right. That is definitely not the Canva I need. Um, all right. Log in. And these are just marketing tools that we've used. Um, continue with email. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we want a background. And we're going to do, um, and why am I spending so much time in the background? Can anybody answer that? Anybody can answer that. Seriously, it's like a very important thing that you all should really understand. Why am I wasting time on the background? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? All right, I'll answer for you since nobody really is volunteering. <laughs> yeah, because what's going to happen, it's going to set the theme for the rest of it. Um, and I have to capture the amount, I have to capture them enough and it has to be cool enough that this might be something that the, it's going to be worthwhile watching. See, this is going to be hard to stretch. Oh, maybe not. That is cool. All right. Yeah. So that actually the quality stayed intact. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to share this. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to download it. But you notice the speed of this. This is normally back in the day. This would take forever. It would take absolutely forever to get these things all communicating with each other, getting the perfect size and all of that. So um, this is going to be background. All right, cool. Now that I got that, now you're going to see how cool this is. We're going to put this in the background and then we're going to adjust everything else. So if I come in here, ah, come back. Boom, there's a background. Now that is going to look pretty sharp because now we got a bold headline. We want to make sure that that's going to come out with a uh, white color. And then we have the regular text color, which is also going to be bold. See, now we have a pretty significant look and it's, it's parallax. So it goes up and down. It's got the little chips in the background. This will work pretty well. So we have something sizable that we can work full parallax is exactly what we want. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Now we have choices here, right? So I now can add the three testimonials, like I mentioned before, to build credibility to add additional copy in here to convince me just in case, or I can have a little bit of copy with maybe what I've seen work really well. If we go back to the landscape view, see, this is looking pretty sharp. Here's the button. I probably make that button a little bit more colorful, but I gotta be honest, it matches everything, which is pretty cool. I didn't even mean to do that, but it's working pretty well. Here's a little additional copy. I can put the testimonials right underneath here, the additional copy here, or I can duplicate this area and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lose this shit right here because we don't need it, but we're gonna add a three column row. For my choice, I can do testimonial A, B, or C. So I can come in here. This is Terry. Hey, um, Yeah. no, no, you wanna use, here, I put a little headline in here. Can I oh. give you some testimonials? Let's plug them in. Yeah, we can even create testimonials, absolutely. So here, I, I, got, I got three here, let's use these ones. All right. So the them. attention bar, actually, that's a really good one. So let's work on that attention bar. I like to actually make those a different color. We have red outlines. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this red. Uh, probably that red. No, that red. 
Nope, too hot right. Also, one, fits in. one quick thing too is if you ever want to um uh one thing that's really good with like chat is to create uh, color palettes too. So if you have a background image, you can say you can you can have it extract the color palette and then you can that say, hey, right. can you can you create a branding guideline with these different colors and give me the examples and it'll tell you like use this for the title, use that for that. And it's really, really congruent. It looks really Oh, absolutely. Good. So I mean it's definitely something we can go back in advance. And again, when doing all of this, remember you can always go back. Um so there's no things that I want to do. And what I'm trying to call out here is I want to call out the individual. So I want to bar that up and I want to move it up. So I want to eliminate all space because again, remember I am fighting for space. Any designer is going to find is going to fight for space and well, any real marketer is going to fight for space. I want the most attention ridden space that I can get that definitely calls it out. And then boom, come in here. Headlines. All right. See, lines now breaking away. Now we got a little bit of a problem here, but that's okay because now we can add shade in the background. So see, boom. So there is a lot of cool things you can do really on the fly. Now, if we wanted to add a subject, uh, they're prompting substance. Here, I put a- um, Oh, those are the three uh, testimonials. I got testimonials. And then in this doc for everyone, it's already on the doc as well. There's something called the TSL. It's an opt-in TSL swipe. All I said was, hey, rewrite this for me using the build a buyer and the offer prime. And you have some pretty good landing page copy on that doc. Um, it's not all perfect, but like we could take some of it if we need bullet points or subheads or stuff like that. These toasters. <laughs> I love toasters. Like you got a, so you got a sick mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh we'll probably lower this a little bit so again i just want i don't want to be an overwhelming fantastic i don't have to put a picture there i can literally just drop the testimonials you know so instead of doing this we can just do this you know if you want can to we, add an image can we can. do a, a book a call funnel um for salsa dancing and have mario be the teacher and not tell him, just put his phone number on there. <laughs> <laughs> so he just gets called all day. <laughs> now, the, the cool thing it. about high level and some of the other tools that are out there, you can just duplicate this on the on the section. You see, now I got three perfectly aligned columns. And then just come in here. Boom. And you're going to create, like, that's too big. So the, see that wouldn't work for me? Mm -hmm. Um. So we would need to like subtitle. So, but when blah blah blah, the savant and AI copywriters do whatever he tells you to do. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and then just, just delete. Like delete. So I'm also looking obviously for some congruency, right? Perry Belcher, turn. Okay. There's another massive one. Holy smokes. Yeah, maybe the Winfield one is good. Yeah, that's what I'm going for right here. Okay. What was the prompt again for this background? It was make me a background for XYZ. Yeah, it was make me a background for whatever. I don't know if ChatGTP, I wish it was working because it really is a lot of fun. This one does a really good job, but it's been breaking all day, I guess, because there's a lot of people calling for it. But I, it was a simple prompt. It wasn't anything like massive. Um so he's just going to be Morgan Bosnian. Like, so get rid of this. Say we got some congruency. Blah, blah, blah. That's all we really need. How much revenue you've increased. Yeah. And then I can use, you know, I can copy a little bit and then just come in here, mess around with it. Just get something that looks pretty Reven. And there we go. Right. So. Pretty interesting. Probably well, we want to call a, this line of copy. If we wanted to add any copy, if not, I do this. Boom, this is all I need. Now, what's really cool, I can have this button come in at a later time so people can be completely in here. I can remove this, this uh, subheadline. Now I'm completely focused on the video. What is cool about if I do a hosted video, which is going to make things a little bit more complicated, I can generate leads 
and call in on the three second mark, I can select the form, okay? And not allow the user to close the form. So three seconds in, it's gonna say, well, you wanna watch the rest of the video? Well, you're gonna have to like, give me your email and like you're bribing them to like continue forward, which is pretty freaking badass if you really think about it. All right, so that took all of, I don't know. And by the way, this is a bad idea. So we lose this right away. Uh, we don't need any of this nonsense. Why? Why am I removing this? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? What don't we want? Distractions. Outside links, distractions. No. Nope. What? The, yeah, absolutely. No, 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 Ron. You're, no, no. I mean, nope. You're absolutely right. Like, okay. you want no distractions other than two things. You're either watching my video or you're clicking my button or else get the hell out. That's like, that's what a funnel is designed to do. You don't want to go with anything else. Like I said, I can add pictures here. I can add a little bit of copy before this break. But overall, that took, what, all of 10, 15 minutes? And I'm a little slow today so because it's late at night. But that's kind of what you want to do. Now, does it look great on mobile? Hell no. Look at that. That's horribly big. So we are going to decrease that. Perfect. That is also horribly big. We're going to decrease that. I want it to read, and I want the video to play. Also horribly big. So that's going to be 17 across the board. And mind you, the way that design is going, the design will eventually be all completely automated. So this is not going to be something that's going to be around forever. I mean, I've again, this is not where I'm putting all my money at um, because this is what it is. Notice how the button is nice and big and everything else. Enroll for private sessions. That'd be kind of creepy, right? <laughs> so um, <laughs> I want to change that for the coffee. <laughs> Unless it's like, you know, you want to murder people. That's kind of weird. <laughs> um, Book your complimentary breakthrough. Uh, obviously, we could get some cooler button saying section now. Section, that's all even worse. Um, so there you go. So here you go. And then it goes automatically to book a call uh, in there. You can even have it where, again, if I want to save space and I really want to get hit and hit them hard, I can have it where this is a pop-up where when they click on that, a pop-up will show up and that's what will be the actual calendar. That's again, just trying to be smart and eliminating people going to different screens or losing interest. You know, quickest call to action that I can get. And I'm actually going to go in, create a little shadow there too, because it looks, where is the no effects? Shadow effect, yeah. Art shadow. Well, good enough. We can play with it a little bit more, but let's just okay. kind of keep rolling. Yeah, like a little bit of a darker. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so looks really solid. Comes in. Maybe we lose the background because it might not be working for it. Regardless of which, you have a pretty solid beginning. Now, what's really cool is, like I said, in this button action, because every button has an action, we can do pop-up and we can have it all in here. So I'm going to do opens pop-up. I'm going to come over to our pop-up settings. I'm going to drop a calendar right in here. So now I haven't even left the page yet. So I'm I'm like literally a one-stop shop. You are going to click my button. Boom. There you go. Let's see what that looks like and let's go live, right? Awesome. No compatible source found because we don't have a video. But so what we'll do is, boom, that popped up right away. Like I am trying to eliminate all kinds of like excuses for somebody going out and I'm trying to get it to go, but to make it really cool, let's put a video in there. Uh, video, 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 select video. Hopefully you have a video. Oh, look, it's me. Uh, and we don't have a thumbnail. Oh my God, we'll put the cow thumbnail in there. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Book be like, what the hell did I just session. sign up for? It's a cow video. Uh, so that would be absolutely amazing. So let's see what happens. Perfect. See, there's my two second hit. You see that though? But no, but how funny was that? Did that not get your attention? <laughs> Nuna's just going to have cows being milked on all his, his Cow stuff. videos everywhere. <laughs> But notice I put a three second mark because I wanted this to come up immediately. And immediately it says, get my free download. I would obviously put something a little ahead of that. Now, the craziest part about it is if I try to click out of it, it's locked. It won't let me go forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, but look how it looks and look how it feels. And then if I drop this and expect it to uh, 
little trick here. You can actually do this right on your, I can see what it looks like on mobile. Pretty cool, right? Um, and I cannot have that button appear right away. I can put a little timer delay on that button, but everything that we said makes a lot of sense, right? So again, if I refresh this page and oh man, I got to put that exit pop. I cannot leave without taking some kind of action. You see how brutal this is? Like, I mean, it's a little aggressive, but you are definitely, you're, I didn't, I didn't make a second page yet. I'm not even off this page yet. <laughs> and I'm not even in automations. I'm literally within a matter of like one page. Look how much real estate, look how much things we put into, look how much it's calling out and look how attention grabbing it is. It's very hard for me not to like do something on this page right now. Like I am eliminating, I am handcuffing you to like either click out of this thing because you're really highly annoyed or the cow scared you or <laughs> you are going to hit a button at some point in time or I'm going to force my form on you or I'm going to force my calendar on you because that's the option that I choose. Now, this is overly aggressive, but is this to show you how there's different tactics to doing it? Now, if I want to soften this up, very easy to do, right? The pop-up. I can put it where the pop-up does not, it's called an exit pop. When you see that thing pop up like that, if I click on pop-up settings, uh, I can do where it's not an exit that I actually have to hit the button, right? So I'm going to do that. Um, actually, if I can get a little headline here, like act now before you lose my calendar forever, you know, like, all right, I'm going to come in here. So like, you know, something like act now, to claim your seat goal, well, something like that, right? I mean, it doesn't really honestly matter how we do that. Um, let's just click on that. Yeah, where are you? And make that a little bit bigger, make it a little bit bolder. By the way, the thing that that guy was talking about, about how you capitalize things, so there is something called copywriting. Uh, like when you, you can take copy and enhance it by bolding certain items and leaving things or, or changing colors of certain things that will act the different attention. So for instance, I can now go and put the claim. Let me just give a little bit of margin on the bottom here because this is like annoying me. There we go. We just need a claim seat, right? Because that's what you're claiming. And I can change the color to one of the colors we were using to again, to match. Now it's calling more action. So you can use copy and you can get creative where you're drawing attention to the words that or the actions you want people to really understand and do or to specific things that people are saying. So for instance, if I take this right here, um, 500K, right? Super important, right? I come in here, I'm gonna bold it and I'm gonna take that bold color and I'm gonna make it like hot red. You know what I'm saying? Now it calls out, right? Maybe it's like um, savant, same thing, right? Big word in there, probably highlight the AI, bold. Remember all about real estate. What are you doing with the real estate that you have? You know what I'm looking at? Look how cool that looks. You know what I'm saying? Come in here really damn good. <laughs> We'll just highlight that whole damn thing, right? Um, bold, highlight, and the red is perfect, right? It'd probably be a little softer red. I mean, you can play with this. I see that looks corny, so we'll probably put that red. And then again, if I want a softer approach, I can create a little timer here, make it invisible. We'll say it's a minute timer. Man, that cow is serious. I love that cow. <laughs> All right, we'll say that a button appears in five seconds and we are going to show hide element, uh, show element, which is gonna be the button. And all right, I'm gonna save that. And what's cool is when you wanna hide something, you hide the timers always. So you go to advanced, take it away. Go to advanced again for the button. No, I don't want to do that. I actually just want to hide. So I have to go elements. Where are my managements? They change some things. And then, of course, you forget where everything is. Sections. There we go. Nope. Players. That's what I need. Page. Section. Section. Column. Column. 
there it is, button. Come in here. All right. Awesome. You want to see how cool this works now? Now, I, I, I all, all honesty, I want you guys to look at that thumbnail. <laughs> Not because I'm obsessed right now, but like I want you to look at that thumbnail and look how that one second makes a difference. So when this page loads, because all pages need to load, it's what you see first. Imagine like a really cool headline or whatever else you need to do. Notice this is the form to get me to continue on. I'm just going to fill it to ensure that it goes through. Because now I capture their information and notice that the button appeared also now. I put it in slower time frames and everything else as we can kind of go through it. And super simple. Now there's a lot of different ways. Yeah, as we go through and everything else. This is one of my old YouTube videos. All right. And now if I click on this, act now to claim your seat. You see how little tiny differences? I can book an appointment right here and there. Boom. I haven't left the page. I just want to make sure you do that. The reason we also put the form in there is because we really want to make sure that people are, are, are going to be active. And if they watch the thing and don't book an appointment, I want to reach out to them. That's where your nurturing sequences, your other workshops, anything you want to add is going to now start showing up in the automations, which we'll probably do next time. But, but this is what you can do. Again, this took all of 10, 15 minutes of like messing around and truly just like really joking around. I mean, like, like this, this really was no effort as of yet. Um, you know, and then again, if like here, I, I wish this worked. We'll say even for a logo, because we're not we don't have one. Create a logo of a mad cow. That does mad, mad cow now uh mad cow marketing. It's the new one. Mad, mad cow marketing. I love it. Of a mad cow that does salsa. We'll see what I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> I hope it works. I hope it works. Dolly's like really upsetting me right now because it's like taking away my thunder here. But um, but you guys see the different design elements. Now, some people like things to go to other pages. That's cool. Like there is nothing, there is no wrong approach as long as I'm convinced enough to keep clicking and keep taking the actions inside the page. But sometimes depending on how aggressive you want to be, you can definitely, oh, yeah, see, Dolly's is completely broken today. Fantastic. I'm persistent though. So let's see. Um, but it's something that you guys kind of want to take in, take into account. And this will be for anything you do. You want to do pool design. It'll take a bit, a little bit different look to it. Um, if you want to do a pre, uh, like a pre teaser of like what the video is going to come in into the full VSL, you can do that. There's different variations of things that we can do. And then we can take that same design that we do it. And that's going to be the design that we would want to use inside of our Facebook ad. Cause regardless of the copy that you're going to create, um, I don't know if I use that logo, but that is pretty funny. Um, it's does it does it have a nose ring? It has a nose ring. <laughs> it's a nose ring. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> it definitely that is that is very entertaining. It has a nose ring. I'm gonna regenerate that, but <laughs> um, but you guys get what we're saying. I hope this all makes sense, like of how quickly this can go through. Um and then from there, uh, so any questions on any of this? Software, why we did like a one, uh, and like how quick it, it was, uh, so, you know, with the prompts and everything else. Like, And ne next time we'll, um, you know, I want to hear from everyone here too about how it was and, and what you want to see more of. But I think next time we'll go ahead and just make the uh, – just go ahead and write a full VSL, like a 20, 30 minute book of call VSL. I'll walk through how to model that. Um, some of y'all can probably start to figure it out, to be honest, with some of what I've given you. And then um, I'll put that with, I'll blend it with the HeyGen clone that we have. So we'll see, a, we'll see a Stefan clone. We'll put it on there, do a couple other things. And then we can start maybe do like a chat bot or automations. I don't know. And once that's done, then we'll go into, you know, maybe do a store or something like that. We'll just keep dicking around until we find something something good well but, but but the point of it is is like the reason why we did the store today was because the person we were with was like i always have these shirt ideas but i never can get it up. like i never can do anything about them because i can't design or i can't write a description or i i don't know how to operate shopify and i can't get a store up i mean it literally like we used high level to create a store which is not the most optimal place i would create a t-shirt store but in shopify it takes even less and then you have things like printify that you just put your design on and then they handle the shipping and everything else. Um, so it's there, there, it's like, and you could do mugs, you could do socks. There, there's like 
literally you you the, the crazy part about all this like if we literally were like no joke literally made one just with cows we literally can have a pop-up shop on a niche in like literally in a day and have it like probably generating revenue by the end of the week i mean what we want to do you know if you're down with this and it's I'm entertaining for everyone is like <laughs> This little funnel right here, I want to actually book it and we'll like, we'll put it live and start running traffic and just keep you apprised of it and do whatever. Once that's done, like, let's build a store and we'll just like, let's just see how big we can make the store and we'll just build everything live on these calls and y'all can, can see what we do. And then we'll just start doing some, some fucked up stuff. I want to make it like a, yeah, I, I have a lot of ideas, but let's let, we'll get this funnel. Let's try to get it done in the next few weeks and just make it live and then that's pretty good. <laughs> the bad <Matt's> cow salsa. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, man. I like, oh, that's amazing. That's a shirt right there. Mad cow salsa. See, I think we should literally, I think the store, if when we get there, I think it should be called Mad cow. And then just like everything cows. <laughs> I'm done. Like, Although what? one little thing I want to do too is a, um, I have an idea for a uh, pickleball brand. And I got a couple people that are in the top 20 who are we down i think we should do an info <laughs> offer and uh do some pickleball products that, yeah everyone that, everyone gets a funnel you get a funnel you get a funnel santiago <laughs> you get a funnel <laughs> that actually should be our motto for this yeah. call <laughs> everybody gets a funnel everybody gets some copy well funny enough i mean there was a little short i think it was saturday Night live that did it on pickleball is like the pickleball instructor and he's just sitting there, the most boring job in the universe. It's like, how do you teach people to pay pickleball? I mean, it's kind of easy, right? So he's like, why do you need an instructor? And the guy's just like, <laughs> like that's that's pretty much it that he teaches. So it's pretty much what we're going to try to do here. So um, yeah, I think the pickleball would be a very good subject to uh, to explore. A question on the, uh, on the uh, funnel. Uh, mm -hmm. Would it be too much if you put in a traditional opt-in form, like, you know, name, email uh, on that this? Would it be too much or um you're gonna you you would you would do it like a pre-form before that so you would do like a teaser form like you would never put it on that page because if you put it on that page it's it's taken away from the video um you remember when you're on there the every funnel page should serve a purpose and if that purpose is to watch the video that's all we wanted to do and then that one is like watch the video but in order for you to watch the video give me your information so you can continue to watch the video again a little bit more of an aggressive play but regardless of which, you're still to watch the video and then finally to book the appointment, right? Because the video is going to convince you to book the appointment because you need whatever it is that I'm selling. If you're going to do the traditional version is the sign up page to be all to getting to the next page. So let me, why should I give you my information so I can get to the next page? And that's something you would want to do there. So you would just divide it. You wouldn't put it on that page. Um, and even like a lot of people like, like the button to be clicked and then the appointment should be the only focus. You know, it shouldn't be distracted with the background of the video and everything else. So you can do that also. So there's, like I said, there is really no wrong way. Uh, what we found, what works for one niche audience will not work for another niche audience. What works for one product will sometimes not work for another product. We literally ran a very successful ad in three different zip codes for, let's say, a plumber. And then all of a sudden, like just in the same state and just run another zip code and it fails miserably, even though it's working in three different areas. So you got to always understand that like it, there's a lot of factors that go into it and you have to try different things like that would be version one. We would probably run version two, which would be the traditional one. And we would probably run version three, which is a straight up like video VSL or a shorter two minute video on the Facebook ad that goes right to an appointment calendar. So you would literally have like three different variations of doing this thing to see which one works best for the clientele you're servicing. Does that make sense, Ron? So yeah, like don't think it's one size fits all. And everybody claims that they have the system. Well, the system might work for this thing, but maybe not necessarily the other thing or your thing. So there is a lot of room to play with. Experimentation by far is the best way to get results. Gotcha. Thanks. Yeah. What um what are some things that so we're gonna we're gonna do a pickleball store, a mad cow shirt um thing, and we're gonna create a book of call funnel. What else? do you guys is something that you're like, man, I want to see if we can create that, or this is something I want to experiment with or something I want to figure out, put that in the chat if you can, because that's really what we're here for is just to, to play around with different tools and, and create fun things. So the more that it's relevant to you that are sticker or adult coloring bookstore. Um, yeah, you can take that a lot of different ways. 
Um, <laughs> but yes, I think I think that's good. I want to do that. I want to. We'll do some uh, comic books. I think is something interesting. Something for health supplements or health info products. Awesome. That's yeah, we totally bread could do and that. Butter. Be... AI workflow for YouTube scripts for selling health supplements. Amazing. That I I got you there. One other th cool t tool I found recently. It's not relevant for everyone, but I think this is really awesome. Is uh, it's called Creator Hooks Pro. I think this will work. And this is it's it's a little like pricey for like just a a tool, but I think you could play around with it. That that may not be the landing page, or I'll show you what it looks like inside real quick. The reason I think this is so cool is it looks at a lot of different organic content and it will tag it with these different um it will give it these different sort of tags and it will show you thumbnails that work really really well and headlines and again people who are doing organic content are playing a different game right if you're spending money on your ad dollars yes you need to make those ad dollars work hard but honestly i think a lot of people who are doing organic marketing are are playing a tougher game as far as attention goes and um, if nothing else, it's like their skill set at getting attention and and which is exactly what we're doing with copywriting is really, really high. Like the best of the best are really, really good. And they have different stuff than what you hear in traditional marketing circles. So um, there's a title generator on here, which is cool. This database is really awesome. Um, they have this thing called the hook score. And you can go and look through this. But I love is you have these things called click triggers. And it will give you all of these different triggers, which really, these are different ad types, right? Um, a daily, a, a drama, epic, extreme, FOMO, move from pain, negativity, open loop, right? So you can go and look at um, different open loop triggers. And it's like, you know, the first sign of a magnesium deficiency is, Dr. Berg explains, is this toilet system better than what's in 99% of homes, right? Um, something weird is happening in hip hop. Again, all of these could be headlines or seeds for headlines or ideas. Um, as well as if you look at the thumbnails, right? All of these thumbnails are really cool, right? If Nuno wants to put his cow in here with the cow pointing and whatever, done. Here's his cow right here. Sorry, Nuno. Oh, uh, man, that's my stuff. <laughs> that's a little fucked up, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> that should be like the after effect. That's terrible. <laughs> so, so. Um, The only thing, I think we'll probably wrap up here and we'll hop on next time. But the only thing I ask, for you guys is um, if this was worthwhile to you at all, just share it on Facebook. Again, these are free, right? You can hop on, um, but we just want more people to join because that's fun. And I think we'll be doing a lot of fun stuff. So if it was valuable to you, just put something either in, in the Facebook group or on the post, you can tag Nuno, um, give Nuno some love because he, he brought it today. Um, you can tag myself, you can troll Mario, you can do whatever you want. And um you know, you can post some cows as well. <laughs> I'm telling nothing, you, man. nothing wrong with some we, cows. I think we do mad cow designs. Like you already got my brain like switching over here. <laughs> awesome. No, no, can I ask for a help. copy, please, of your of the GHL, please? Would uh, you send me a copy? A copy of what you just created. Of what we just created. Uh, you know what we'll do? Let us get through the automations and everything else, and then what we'll do is we'll um we'll drop it off into um it into a snapshot that we'll give out to anybody who has high level that wants to leverage it. That that's the goal. Yeah. The goal is we're going to yeah, give you resources. Snapshot. Every, yes. Yeah. Like, like Luke said, everything that we create, we'll put into a snapshot that you guys can leverage um, in your, in your own stuff. You just have to have high level. I mean, it's just going to make it super easy, but like, let's yeah. get the automations in, let's get a bot in, let's get anything that we can build that would make this thing like really viable um, that we can go from there. And uh, next time we'll hit some ads too. I just wanted to show you. Cause I want to see the cow again. I'm sorry. So I want to see the cow again. <laughs> um, this too is also, so we'll make some Facebook ads and we're going to be adding new templates, but I don't know why these said testosterone. That's kind of weird, but um, I think these ads are pretty cool, right? Um, free ad copy again. All I did, I entered the information once, popped it in and, you know, I probably wouldn't say 35 to 55 year old coaches. That's a little oddly specific, but most coaches and consultants feel that marketing is a training process, doesn't yield enough results, but that's not true. Whatever. There's a lot of things you can do. Now that I'm reading it, it's actually not the best ad. So um, we'll have to fix that. <laughs>
but regardless, we're going to do some cool stuff, make some fun Facebook ads and all that. But um, everyone, thanks for hopping on. We love you. Give Nuno some love. And um, you guys soon. And uh, let us know what you thought in the group. Cool. Bye, y'all. Hey, thank you, everybody.